Hey guys, today we're going to show you a, a quick repair to a guitar. This is a SE Paul Reed Smith Main Korea Custom 22 and it has an issue. The issue of course is that the the action is not going low enough but we found the culprit. It's uh, very clear to see. The post is lifting out and you can see a gap. So there's two ways to fix this. I can pull the post out, dowel it with a uh, wood dowel and uh, then re-drill it. But in cases like this where it's just so so such a small gap it's not a big deal i'm going to show you a quick easy way to fix this so we can continue on our way with doing the setup on this guitar now that's also causing the second issue not only is the customer's action too high but the other problem is his intonation slightly out that's because the bridge has slightly shifted forward see that's tilting up and that's again because that post uh lifting out you can see right there you can see the angle see how it's higher on this side than that side because it's lifting it's pulling the bridge so we're going to go ahead and fix that. What's interesting about this is you can see it's actually snug in there. You know what I mean? It comes out pretty easy, but the gap is actually is not as big as what I thought it was. And that's the reason why we're going to do this. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to wrap it in paper. Now, this is the funny part. I've actually tried all kinds of paper, construction paper. You know, uh, I used to use, actually, I should probably share this. I used to use uh, basswood and I used to cut it in thin strips uh, and... Um, over time experimenting, what I learned works the best is newspaper. It's just the weirdest thing. So anyway, so uh, newspaper, go ahead and I trim it up. It's like an arts and crafts project here. I'm trying to get the paper to the width of the post and then clean up the paper a little bit. And it doesn't, I actually want it to be a little shallower than the post. And that's what's important to me is actually that it's yeah like this then you wrap it around like so you want to wrap it very tight and then to see how far you go and then that's about good like i said you're going to think you're going to need all this thickness it's literally the sheet of a piece of paper now are you done no there's an extra little trick here this is where the arts and crafts come in so what i'm going to use is a little type on wood glue and uh, this is the arts and crafts part. Let's go ahead and turn the camera down right here. And this is uh, as simple as this is. Yeah, if it looks like I'm making paper mache art project, it uh, is because I am. <laughs> and that is all you got to do. And essentially, we're making uh, what I like to call wallpaper. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go ahead and wrap it. and uh, just work it tight. It's gonna be very easy to work with. There you go. So you can see we filled in the gap. It is totally filled in now. And this will dry and uh, it'll actually be in there just as hard as any kind of piece of wood. And this will really help with that you at home hobbyists uh, that don't want to drill and dowel and redrill a new post. This is a uh, quick fix. The, the interesting part to talk about is why this even happened in the first place. This happened because the guitars are made, like this guitar is made in Korea. And uh, where I live in Arizona, it's very dry. This customer lives in Arizona. So what happened was his guitar, the wood, just dried out a little bit and it shrank. And when it shrank, it pulled away uh, from this post. Now that it's dry, you can see how it looks. And this one was not affected. So this one hasn't come unseated. So you can see this is the original one and how it looks, right? And here is the fixed one. And again, it actually looks like it's actually in there better. Hey guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. That way I know to keep making them every week. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, I want to thank you for your time and know your gear.